Hello, this is a part one tutorial for the in-game level editor plugin, which is available in the marketplace right now. Uh, in this video, I'll show you how to set up the plugin in a very basic manner, just get it all running, nothing too advanced. Uh, in the next uh, episode, I'll look into properties and like the real cool features of this plugin, but for now, let's just get this thing to work. Uh, first things first, you wanna see if the plugin is enabled. You wanna go to the plugin window, and look for it. There it is, it's enabled, everything's fine. Uh, so this is just the first person template uh, running on Unreal Engine 5. Uh, first thing that you want to do is uh, go to your project settings and set up a few things. First, look for the inputs. Uh, you want to make sure you have these axes mapped. These axes should be there by default, uh, except for this one called move up, which is just Q and E going up and down. Next thing you want to configure is stencil right here. Enable with stencil. Make sure this is selected. Uh, this is used for drawing the gizmo, making icons and outlines for actors and stuff. And now that you're set up, it's time to actually use the plugin. First thing I'm going to do is create the folder. Uh, in here, I'm going to make a level, just actually use this. I'll save it into the folder. I'll just call it uh, main level. Uh, now this is the level that the, that the plugin is going to use to actually load in whatever custom data you have, custom actors, place walls, and all that. I'm just going to delete the floor. This should be fine. Uh, I'm also going to make a main menu level. This can be empty. Uh, this is what the plugin is going to use to load back in and show UI and all that. So we're done with the levels. Uh, next thing you want to do is create a game instance uh, blueprint. Or if you haven't already, just use that instead. I'll just call this GI setup. Uh, you need to repair this to uh, the plugins class, which is called angle GI, I'm pretty sure. There it is. Uh, when you repair this, you get access to this variable called global settings. This is where you would configure a plugin. So uh, you have options for two game modes. One is used for the editor. You should just leave this on this. That's fine. One is used for playing. Uh, this is, this would be your usual game mode. Uh, you could put this to whatever class you need. So for example, here I put it to first person game mode, uh, just because that's what I want to use. This you can keep as custom levels. This is where the your custom levels actually get saved. Uh, this is the name of the main level. You want to change this to main level. And the menu level name changes to menu level. The two levels that we just made. A custom data object, uh, you don't have to worry about this if you're not looking for anything advanced. This is what's used to store custom data within the level if you need something like that. So this is like the basic setup, pretty much done. One uh, last thing you need to do, obviously, uh, use the actual game instance class here. So there it is. Everything's set up, everything should work. Now, in the main menu level, uh, you wanna go into the blueprints here, or I don't know, do whatever you need, but we need to show UI, so let's set that up real quick. This will just show the menu on the screen. So now, if we play, we should get this. Obviously, it's using the first person game mode, so we have this cursor, let's just disable that. I just make the game mode, game mode, because why not? Now this is done, uh, in here you can create a level. Uh, you can't really see the text here, but I'm typing in test, create, and there we go, everything works. You're now loaded into the main level, as you can see here, uh, and you're free to edit, but the problem is we don't have any anything to place because we haven't configured that yet. But this you can save, you can pause, you can save and quit, and there's your level, you can edit, you'll load back in, obviously there's nothing yet. But yeah, that's it. If you press save and play this, uh, well, as you can see, we're just falling. So we haven't configured that yet either. Uh, so now that we have this set up, let's make a new folder, call it placeables. We're gonna make an actual placeable actor. As an example, I'm just gonna make a cube because it's probably like the simplest thing ever. It's called BP cube. Go in here, add a static mesh. BP cube. So this is what you would do to turn any actor into something that can be placed within the plugin. All you need to do is just add the component uh, called Eigel interface. Yeah, in here you just set the name, description, category, and you can have a custom icon here if you want to. Uh, you can add properties here, but I'll get into those later. So for the placeable name, just called cube, placeable description, also cube, placeable category cube. Right. Now this is set up. This should be automatically detected by the plugin using C++ magic. So <laughs> you go in here, you can press edit, and there it is. There's a cube. And it has its own category and you can drag it out. Everything works. Reset the location here. Press F to focus on it. And there you go. You got your funny cube. Let's scale it down. 
change the scale here as well. Let's make it 10 by 10. We can save this. You can also grab it and duplicate it. Move it around. Do whatever you need, basically. And we can save and quit. Edit the level, everything loads back up, everything is nice. You can also box select. This is it. But the problem is, if we go to save and play, first of all, we're falling. Second of all, nothing has loaded. And this is because when you actually play uh, the level, you need to set up the way the level is going to be loaded. That's not done for you. So what you're probably going to want to do is uh, when you load into the main level, you can do this inside the, the level blueprint or you could do this inside the game mode, whatever you feel like. So I'll just do this here. Let's go into the level blueprints. Uh, in here, to get the actual level that you want to play, uh, you want to get the game mode. And from here, you want to get the option string. Uh, this will have uh, an option for the relative path to the custom level file. Uh, to get this out, you want to parse option. There is a function for this, but uh, you should probably use this instead. Uh, the key is called level to play. First, you want to check if it's not empty. Now, if you have this option set, you want to load the level. So let's try this out, load level. There's a function called I load level. You want to call that. And the auto, let's just use self. This doesn't really matter, it should get filled. So now the level should load whenever we open this. Let's try it out. Let's go back to the main level. Let's press play on this. And there you go. You have your two cubes up there. It loaded, but we're still falling. And that's because there's, uh, there's no player start. And we should probably add that as well. Let's make a player start. Class. In here, I'll just add the uh, capsule collision and an arrow just to show like where we're facing. Uh, in this capsule, I think this is fine. Uh, I'm just gonna make this block all just so we can actually drag and drop this. It doesn't really matter, but I'll just do it. Don't forget to add your component. I just call it player start. Now we should have this right here. Let's drag this out. It's obviously a bit small. I should probably make it bigger. And we can't actually see it because I set this as hidden game. Let's go back. There it is. Same thing for the arrow. Now we should see it. There we go. We've got our player star right here. I think it's a bit too small. I'm just going to drag it up. Save this. So now, if we want to actually spawn at the player star, we're going to go uh, back to the main level. We're going to have to teleport the player after uh, the default spawn point. What we're going to do is get all actors of class. Let's get the player start. Get the first actor of this. Check if it's valid, of course. It should be valid because we should have one. If we don't, then tough. And we're going to get player pawn. And set actor transform. We're gonna teleport this actor to this. So we're just gonna get actor transform. And basically, do a teleport. Very simple stuff. And this should work. There we go. We got teleported to the player spawn thing. Uh, obviously, we probably wanna delete this after this whole thing is done. So let's do that here as well. So after this is done, we're just going to destroy it. And now you got your level working. And you can do whatever you want here. Then the next episode, I'll go through the property system. I'll talk about the more advanced features of this whole editor.